Hey, this is Juliet. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, welcome. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel. By subscribing, you let me know that you like the content that I'm making and that you want to see more. So don't be afraid to hit the button. Now let's talk about our topic today, the top five RIA exam concepts to know. And there's a lot of information that you have to study for this exam, but I chose these five because these are the five things that are always, always on the exam. So let's go ahead and look at number five. Number five is going to be HIPAA. HIPAA is a big monster on this exam. H-I-P-A-A, -A, just so you guys know, <laughs> okay? So HIPAA is big because we are dealing with patient information. And so they want to be sure that you understand the importance of keeping that information secure. So there's going to be a ton of questions where they want to test your knowledge on how to protect patient information. So if you don't know all those details about HIPAA, please be sure that you make time for it. You will see a question on it. I kind of guarantee it. Number four, agencies. Now, when I say agencies, I'm talking about CMS. I'm talking about Joint Commission. You need to know the different agencies within this healthcare space because there's gonna be a lot of collaboration going on between you as a health IT professional and these agencies. And you have to know a lot of the ins and outs that happen between you and these agencies. So make sure that you know the acronyms, make sure that you know exactly what these agencies do, the relationships, as well as the guidelines and the rules that they have when it comes to dealing with patient information. It is a lot of information to learn, but you need to know it for your RIA. So definitely be sure that you make time out to learn and recognize agencies. Number three is gonna be coding. And with coding, you're gonna need to be able to recognize the differences between a CPT code and an ICD-10 code. You have to be able to know your root operations and be able to pick the right one based on a scenario. So if you're not familiar with coding, or it's very minimal experience with it, make sure that you get that AHIMA exam prep book and that you're able to answer those questions and understand why those are the answers. That is key to success on your RIA. Data visualization. I am talking about your bar graphs, your line graphs, your pie charts. You wanna know what these things are and also in what situation to use them. And then on top of that, being able to read them, analyze them and make generalizations from them. That's a very hard concept if you haven't looked at it before. So make sure that you find that chapter in your you know, textbook and read over it and study that information because you will be tested on that concept. And when you see it, let me know. Number one is going to be timeframes. There are a lot of different timeframes that you need to know as a health IT professional when you're dealing with documentation. Just as an example, let me read one to you. The privacy rule generally requires documentation related to its requirements to be retained for how long? Now, the answer is six years. But you wouldn't think to know that unless you were studying for your RIA. So make sure that you look once again in your exam prep book and you know these numbers. And there's so many years and time frames out there. And you want to make sure that you know them like the back of your hand. And trust me, it's going to help you on exam day. You're welcome. So that is all I have for you today. I hope that you will take these little nuggets with you as you are prepping for your RIA exam. And if you want more awesome content like this, please let me know what you want to see in the chat so I can look at it and make it for you. And also like this video if it has helped you in any way. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.